And that's basically the journey of entrepreneurial freedom, which is getting other people to do the delivery for you. And then bit by bit, you stepping back from the business, which is something that I was lucky enough to do before I turned 30. I was able to systemize everything and then step back. And that's why I've created this channel is to help other business owners do the same using the right kind of tech. I'm curious what product you recommend for customer service call ticketing system for a one-man IT consulting company that could scale up in the future. So that's a great question. When we're talking about ticketing systems, usually what someone is after is a customer service communication system. And so a customer service communication system usually looks like a little bit like a customer database, but it's also, I guess, a way of managing your communication back and forth with your customers as well. And a ticketing system, which is what IT companies usually use or have used for a long time to run their help desk is something that is helpful for most businesses who are delivering customer service because a ticketing system will allow you to triage customer requests that come into your team. It will allow your team to respond to them in an orderly fashion, but it also allows you to manage a high volume of customer requests without anything falling through the cracks. Now, most businesses that don't use a customer service system for managing their customer service will just end up in a situation where customers are emailing your staff individually, and maybe they're emailing your staff one by one. Maybe your customers are emailing you if you're the business owner. And what tends to happen there is every now and again, someone misses or forgets an email or you know, so many new requests come in at the top of their inbox, the older ones kind of get dropped off down the bottom. And what a ticketing system does is it actually gives you a process where a ticket will come in and will be assigned to someone and effectively they're stuck with that ticket they're stuck with that customer request and any emails that go back and forward are automatically going to be tagged to that request and once somebody is assigned the ticket they're responsible for seeing that through to completion now usually you'll have a ticketing system connected to one of your email mailboxes within your business so that might be help at your company.com or support at your company.com or you could even use it under you know, sales at or orders at or whatever you want to use for your particular business. And whether you're a service business or if you're a distribution business or even if you're an events management company, I think that all businesses can take advantage of a structured system for actually managing customer requests. Now, the question that's been asked here is, you know, what's the best system for someone who's currently a one-man band, but they're considering potentially scaling up in the future? And, you know, my recommendation would be to start with something simple. You could, if you wanted to, just use a shared mailbox and a shared mailbox within Google Workspace will allow multiple people to work out of one mailbox. So you can do things like have a, a labeling system where if someone is assigned to an email, you can have a label attached. Google have added a few basic ticketing system-ish features to their Google shared mailbox now. If you've got a group mailbox set up and you've got multiple people accessing that, but once the business starts to grow and get a bit more sophisticated, you probably want to have things like a customer service score. Like you want your customers to have the ability to give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on how their experience has been. And you probably want to get some basic analytics as well. Like you probably want to see what's the average response time to emails that are hitting the help desk. And as soon as you hire your first employee or your first contractor, you probably want a system that's going to let you see how many tickets do they have assigned to them? What's the total number of tickets from customers? What's the oldest ticket sitting in the system right now? What is the average time that a customer request stays open? These are all very important for you to know if you're managing your team because you wanna make sure that good customer service is being delivered to your customers. And this is one of the best ways for you to take the hat of delivery off and actually hand it over to someone else. If you've read Michael Gerber's work, there's a very famous book called The E-Myth or The Entrepreneurial Myth. And it talks about transitioning from a technician to a manager and then to an entrepreneur. And that's basically the journey of entrepreneurial freedom, which is getting other people to do the delivery for you. And then bit by bit, you stepping back from the business, which is something that I was lucky enough to do before I turned 30. I was able to systemize everything and then step back. And that's why I've created this channel is to help other business owners do the same using the right kind of tech. So what product is recommended for a one-man band? Well, for a one-man band, you could probably get away with just using a shared mailbox 
inside your Google workspace. That's probably going to be doable, probably going to be workable for you. But my recommendation is always, well, how can you start with the end in mind? And how can you set up things correctly when you are just getting started? And so there is a product that we recommend that lives right inside of Gmail, which gives you a bunch of features, which let you share mailboxes with other people on your team. It's called Hiver. And if you're interested in that, um, head along to the link down below this video. Uh, book in a consultation with our team. It doesn't cost you any extra to buy it through us. In fact, you may even get access to some discounts. But if you would like professional help in actually getting it set up and configured, then our team have an offer available as part of our concierge program to help you do that. But if you just want to like buy it from us, start your business relationship with IT Genius, that would be great. You can buy the licenses and set it up from us yourself. So check that out. It's on our website. It's called Hiver, H-I-V-E-R. Head along to itgenius.com and you can check that out there. Now, if you're just a one-man band and you're just, 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 just getting started, you could probably get away with using a shared mailbox. So that's probably the place to start. The moment you want to start hiring a contractor or somebody to help you out in the business, that's when you want to make sure that you have a system set up to delegate things properly to your team. And I've got other videos on using shared mailboxes if you search our channel. But thanks very much for the question. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.